Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here today to um, do a few more things with the journal that we're working on for Karen. But I wanted to show you, I did do some of Dee Dee Farago's envelopes. I did the one that she did yesterday. I, I think it's the same. <laughs> I don't know, I was sitting on my couch last night just playing and making envelopes. It took me about an hour to make these three, and they're all different because I cannot stay focused enough to make three of the same. So anyways... Um, it the pocket opens there and then there's the little envelope flap which is like a, a little tuck spot where you could put you know a tag maybe not this big but you know a tag and then you could also uh, glue just a couple sides and have it tuck this way or you could have a pocket here or a pocket here however you want depending on how you attach it to your page and then this is the one that is the pocket here and I guess I can show you with the tag, it'll be a little bit better so you can see through to there. And then there's also another spot there to tuck. And I think Dee Dee had two tucks, but my uh, plastic or acetate on my envelope went all the way down the envelope. So when I folded it up, it made this kind of, I don't know, I didn't trust it as another pocket. So I just made it with one pocket. And then I did this one, which I think I'm going to have open to the side. I hadn't decided last night. Um, by then I was getting tired but anyway I think it'll open to the side and then I also put a little pocket on the front and this was just one that I was playing around with because I can't stay focused and make multiples which is my problem because if I could do that I might actually have some stuff made up and ready to go for journals instead of always having to make it all but that's just the way I am so all right um, I thought what we could work on is I saw I think her name is Eve from Scrapbooking with Me. Um, she used the little part of an envelope to make a belly band. And so we did our little coin envelope the other day. And so I saved the little piece that came off the envelope and we can use it to make a little belly band. And she had turned it into a little, you know, like tuck to tuck something into. So I thought if I can find a long Sorry, I had one here. And now I don't know what I did with it. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we'll just make another one out of a page. But uh, you put like a long skinny little tag or something in there. So we're just going to take a page out of here. Because it doesn't have to be very wide, obviously. Let's see. And that's a good height, too. So we're just going to put some glue in here and make a little taggy thing that we can use. I just want to get it glued so that it can start um, drying so that then I can tear it the size I want it. I'm just going to do like this kind of thing because it doesn't need to be any wider than that. And then I'll just tear it to the size I want it and we can decorate it. I'm going to set it aside to let it dry. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a good day. I am having a pretty good day so far, just uh, getting stuff done this morning and trying to beat the heat because it's going to be another cooker here. Let's see, I really like these leaves. They're just kind of a good size and everything for this, so I think that's what I'm going to use. Oh, and I also made this little envelope pocket out of just the end of one of the envelopes and I think we'll put a little notch sorry see I just go all and I'm just gonna do a little one because I have another idea for this so I think that's about the middle I hope so I just did it out of you know scrap stuff that I had and I'm going to put something else on there okay so let me focus <laughs> which is not easy yeah I was making those envelopes and I had every intention of you know trying to do six to you know catch up with where Dee Dee's at and I'll, I'll try to remember to link her channel I think I keep forgetting and I apologize for that I am just horrible when it comes to doing that and I really do try but very often I have so many things that I have to link that I just 
I'm always like, okay, is that all of them? <laughs> and I think I have them all, and inevitably I do not. So I apologize. It is nothing personal towards anybody. Anybody. I just am dingy as I'll get out. So it's amazing that I can remember to do as many as I do. And um, yesterday was my or it actually was today that it ended up coming out because I have to send it to Arteza and all that. But anyways, um, yeah, so that was the Arteza video, and there's a few other things I had to add in there, and I forgot, and I had to go back and add them in later because they're doing that contest, which is so awesome. So go check out uh, my video, the Arteza one with the fabric paint. It's the video right before this one, and um, you can see the contest, all the information. But anyway, long story short, they are doing a contest where you send a picture of something that you made um, using, obviously, Arteza products, and put it on Instagram, and there's a hashtag and everything. And um, you can win up to, I think there's going to be like three winners but the big winner is one year of collaboration with Arteza and you win um, you get gift cards every month for one year from Arteza for products uh, on their website so that's it's a really awesome giveaway I think so anyways I guess I should make sure this is going to fit one of my pages before I decorate the entire thing I mean I measured it but that doesn't mean anything so yeah it'll work Alright, so anyway, yeah, go check that out. I'm going to close this at the top so that, because I had to cut off the end of the envelope. It was a little bit too long, so you may have to, you know, do that. You may have to trim it down, so don't just think, um, you know, the envelope you have is going to be the right size because it probably isn't. So yeah, Eve at Scrapbooking with Me is the one that I saw this idea on. <clears throat> Not my idea. So yeah, that's a great generous giveaway by Arteza. And um, you can be from anywhere you don't have to do some gigantic product in your project you know you can just do you know use one product of theirs or whatever it's not like there's loads of stuff that you have to use to be part of it so I thought that was pretty cool maybe we could put like a piece of lace this lace is cool because it has leaves running all the way down it yeah I like that I think I'm going to cut it with the pinking shears at each end because I'm not going to get to stitch it, which that's kind of a bummer, but but I had a blast yesterday stamping those leaves. Uh, that is just right up my alley. <clears throat> And that's really nice fabric paint. The colors just came out great. I just really liked it. So I'm going to put this here. Because I have in the past, like I said yesterday, done some stamping on fabric with Stampin' Up. And I was never that impressed just because like some of the fabric paints, I didn't like the way they dried or I don't know, whatever. But I really like how the colors came out with that. Of course then I may have been partially discouraged by the fact that um, you know you always wanted the perfect image you know when we were doing scrapbooking and stuff but as we all know that's very difficult to achieve and the awesome part about doing it with junk journaling is it doesn't have to be perfect in fact it kind of looks better if it's not um, you know, the solid image and all that. So, anywho. 
All right, I'm not sure what else I want to put on there, but I feel like it needs more than that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I made some like little pearly stuff using my uh, matte medium and the mica powder. <laughs> and I used the copper to get this color, but it kind of makes almost like those little pearls. I mean, the little pearls are probably better, but it was just kind of a fun thing because you could do something else with it. You wouldn't have to do uh, just that with it. But that was kind of a cool little thing. I just don't know what else I want to put in here. I think I'm going to do just the smallest little thumb notch because I want um, it known that there is, you know, something in there. And it's not just a plain belly band. Oh, but there's that. Forgot about that. You know, we'll just take a piece of coffee dyed paper and put it in there. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect because it's just going to go like this. Forgot about that part. That is the only problem with using the junk envelopes. I mean, I could put another piece of paper over the top of that entirely. But you really won't see much of it except for right there where that line is. So yeah, just another little idea with the mica powder if you have some. And probably if you used a thicker type of a glue, it would, um, you know, be even, like, thicker, but obviously. <laughs> okay, that looks better. We need to ink up that little thumb notch. Maybe we can put a, a Tim Holtz person or something there. Just feels like it needs something. <clears throat> all dressed up for Thanksgiving dinner. What else do we have? Yeah, I think I like her. She's good. Thing about taking those out and putting them back. Maybe we need like I don't know something else. There's a sunflower. That's Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Sunflower would be fun. That would be okay, even though it hangs over. I do like the girl, too. to figure out. I don't know if I want it down at the bottom more. This little doodad. This is a little felt um, like tag and I just 
Tim Holtz stapled a piece of lace and another little piece of fabric. But I don't know. It's just thick. It's so thick. I feel like it needs something through there. Um, sorry, you guys are probably ready to spring. <laughs> I'm on a tangent, so watch out. had an idea for one of those. I could use this messed up bread. Or, well, it's not messed up, but it's, um, I, you know, rested it. I'll just, the trick with these that I do is just bend them again back towards themselves if you don't want to see that. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. That'll work. Okay, and I just had another idea. Tiny enough one, but I do have these. They're not rusted, but they're better colors for like this bronzy type color. Okay, I'm going to attempt to open this up so I can put beads on the other side. This may be a disaster, so. I mean, I have done stuff like this, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's bending it back into shape is the problem that I usually have. Some of those beads aren't going to fit. Oh, come on, that last one just went right on there. There we go. Okay. I should probably use tools, huh? I got it a little bit tighter, but we're going to say it's fine. <laughs> That's the only way that I know of, unless, I mean, you guys may know of a way to do that, to get the beads on the other side. You know, when you think about scrapbooking, it's really not a lot different than um, 
junk journaling as far as you know you don't want your scrapbook generally to be super thick but a lot of the embellishments like chipboard and all that are really quite thick so I just don't want to go to the tips basically of any of this because they'll probably hang off I just think it's too thick. I just keep looking at it and going, it's just too thick. I mean, I might be able to put it somewhere else, but I think it looks weird poking up like that on that tag. I just think we'll go back to our, this plan. I like it, I'll use it somewhere, but I just don't think I'll use it here. that instead. That's from uh, Denise at one of our crafts. The Fickle Fall add-on. So, yeah, I like them better. Wow, all over the place and it's taking me forever just to do this. I'm at like 21 minutes. Do you see why I can't do those envelopes? I don't know how. Um, Dee Dee does those in 15 minutes. Well, I mean, she's been going about 20, but still, <laughs> it's really good because, man, I cannot focus and do it. Okay. Now, how thick? Take a little bit off of this side and a little bit off the other side. Take a little bit off the top too. I thought it would fit right in there. That's what I get for thinking. These long skinny things are always um, hard for me to decorate. I don't know why, but they are. Take just a tiny bit off of that other side. So it fits in there. Yeah, I always struggle with it a bit. We'll just put some straw paper. Since I have it right here, let's take off an edge. It's long, long paper. We have this company that um, flies overhead. It just reminded me because I hear them flying overhead. But uh, and people, you know, skydive out of their airplane. <laughs> it just is mind blowing to me. I just cannot. I don't know. I am the biggest chicken in the world. So like, I'm sure to a lot of people that sounds like a really a lot of fun. But I, I uh, no, I will not ever be jumping out of an airplane unless. It's the only way I can survive. 
And even then, it's probably questionable. Because <laughs> that is scary. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Uh, um, they're a little bit more over my sister's house when they jump out. But anyway, she can sit in her backyard and see them. And hear them talking and stuff. It's funny. I mean, they're still way, way up in the sky. Because they land far away from where she's at. But you can just hear them yelling and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I just hear them flying over. Yeah, I am so chicken. There's no way. Nope. I can't hardly stand going like down steep hills on the the ATVs. You know, I just, that scares me enough. So that's how chickeny I am. I could use a little bit of this just for the sheer color and the burlap, you know, feel of it. You know, it's got, like, we're going to tear the corn and stuff, but I think it's okay. But good texture. Just a fun little skinny little writing spot. I know it's not super useful, but um, it's just kind of a cute idea. And then there will be a journaling card under the belly band, so that'll have even more space for writing. I need to finish this one and get started on the Christmas one, and I'm just like having so much fun just playing around with this stuff. I mean, Karen's not in a big hurry, but you know, need to like move on. I like those plain ones for backing tags. Did I get it? Oh, this is the top, huh? With the corn at the top. So I don't know that I want to put a ton more on there because I don't want it getting caught going in and out of the pocket, but it does feel like it needs something, obviously. This is from my fall is in the air. DG. girl on this one. That would work. See, I'm telling you, the long skinny just throws me off. Like, it takes me forever to decide on anything because, like, nothing looks right, in my opinion, on there. Music paper, Seen Better Days. Oh, it's got those cute pictures on the back. I forgot. Struggling, struggling. <laughs> Can you tell? Silence. <laughs> Sometimes. Do a little bit of bunchiness. Let's see if that helps 
Excuse me. This being so wide right here is not working for me. Sometimes I just have to ink it. I know exactly what you're talking about, Gal. I just cannot see it until it's inked. It's so bizarre. Like I can stand there and look at it go, nope, 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 and then I just ink it and it's like, oh yeah, that works. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know how Rachel does it with no ink. <laughs> I never get anything accomplished. I just stand there all day and look at it. it all happen for my brain anyway and I'll probably stitch around that can't stitch on the this at all but I think I am going to because I keep noticing I'm just worried the slice is going to come off so I am going to put a little Timmy Holtz staple there. I'm, I'm, he probably hates us calling him Timmy. I don't know, but anyway. And one down there just to, you know, make sure that uh, lace isn't going anywhere. And it's going to go right in there. Oh, you know what? This probably isn't going to fit now because I stapled it. Oh, okay. Well, at least I did not, um, whatchamacallit, sew it yet. <laughs> I just love when other people do stuff like this too because it makes me feel so much better because <laughs> I'm such a dingbat. Goodness gracious. Okay, it has to fit now. Yes, that was brutal. Okay, so let's put that. I already kind of know where I'm going to put it on this page. And I want it to be flat, so I'm going to just take that page out. Okay, it'll go just like that. So we just need to glue top and bottom. I probably should have stapled it to the page, huh? That would have been the smarter move. I'll put quite a bit of glue on there. I don't want it coming off. I don't believe this has taken me as long as it has. <laughs> and then you know what would be cool is one of the big, um, oh, what are they called? Recipe cards. I can find one in my mess of papers. I'll find one and put one back there. I know I've got more of them. Those are great big ones like we used in the that first envelope pocket we did. Okay, 
put one of those in there. And then another thing that I was playing around with is I have this rusty old, well it's not old, it's new, I rusted it. I did, I had the idea to put it on here, but I didn't think I had a big enough one of these, but I do, so I think I'll do one there. But then I also cut one of these little flags down of Denise's, and um, I was thinking I could do something. It's a little orange paper clip. It's cute. I need to ink it. And I just folded it, and I did uh, do a hole punch on either side just to make it easier to go around there, and then I'll glue it on the back. And you know, it'll stay on there. But we need to decorate it up a little. And I have more of the lace with the leaf. I could just do a little piece of that and a, maybe a felt heart. These are sticky outy, but I think I think it'll be okay for here. So I think I'll do You can kind of fold it over as well. Maybe. My goodness. So do it at the same time, essentially. Okay, we're just going to take this out and glue it. <laughs> So I just want it to hang down here, but go over this, so. And there's lots of these little flags in Denise's digi. And you just want it over the long part of your paper clip. And these paper clips I've had forever and a day. They're just those little like um, sort of rubberized ones or whatever, you know, that have the colored stuff over them. Why am I having such a hard time with this? It was just on here. I, I mean, just adding that little piece of fabric really just threw it into a tailspin. I want to get it on there pretty tight because, as you can see, it's not wanting to cooperate. I'm gonna... that it really matters back there, but where's my little oh. I think I might go ahead and staple that because that works pretty good. I can find my that down. Wow. <laughs> that clunk was uh, the 3D printer. It just finished printing a um, cradle, book cradle. Takes all night to print one. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. But, I mean, it's pretty substantial, so... So these can go obviously anywhere you want, but that's kind of fun. And then I don't know where to put this little guy. I need to think on that, I think. But I also want to put this together. I thought it would be fun to put one of these like over, I think I'll go this side. You know, like that over the little thing, but I think we're going to have to trim it down just a touch. So, let's see. 
because I want to I don't want to cover up the thumb hole that would be kind of a fun little decoration for for this pocket and then I'm going to use one of her big tags I don't really need to do this because you're not really going to see it but I'll just make it a little because that's what I do on the front too because I, I I don't want it flipping up like you know sticking out weird and you could even tuck something up under it if you wanted okay let's put this in here I wanted to see if I have an itty bitty temples person and I'm going to be sorry for dumping all these out I probably don't have the right itty bitty one this set didn't have very many tiny ones in it and she's too big It's funny because some um, sets of these I've gotten, it's like loads of little teeny ones and other ones. There just aren't very many. I know they just do it probably randomly, just grab them up and put them in there. wanted one of the bitty ones to sit up on the pumpkin but I don't have any let me think about that it might be done just the way it is but I kind of want to see if I can get one of these to fit on the safety pin I know I'm, I'm all over the place today some days I can get all my thoughts together and you know do more things <laughs> helpfully <laughs> but other days I don't know I can't seem to do it I think that's a supposed to be a Halloweeny when it says 31 right there but it's the right colors, so. Oh, this might not work. Let me guys, let me guys, let me know guys below if you would uh, jump out of an airplane. <laughs> it's actually going to go over the other end because this is the end that's going to have to poke into something, so. It needs to go like that. So I'm going to do the whole punch thing again because that works the best. And then I don't have to keep cutting more and more and more off. Because that allows it to go around that easier. That 
one did not line up very good. I don't know where exactly I'm going to put this, but I do have quite a bit of fabric um, little things. I didn't add a lot to the sides because, you know, like the pages and things, because if she does use it at all as a cookbook type thing, I don't want, you know, too much fabric in there. But there are like the fabric tags and stuff like that, but I think they'll be fine. Just don't want it like sitting in a, a kitchen with fabric. You know, food everywhere. What can we put on there? Our crazy little, <laughs> I don't know, that thing. Maybe on a pocket it would work. It just seems thick to me. I don't know. Maybe it just won't ever work anywhere. I have no idea. Um, oh, I know. I was thinking a flower. Something like that. These are those washy ones. What about that? It's way too big, huh? Oh, this one's like all dried. It looks kind of good because it doesn't need all that bottom stem part, anyways. got these ones on Amazon and they're in my uh, Amazon links in the description box below pretty much every video. I want something else on there but let's get this out. anything that is over. Okay, and then what needs? What else? What else? something else. Maybe some... I'm just going to throw things. And I buy that burlap at Walmart. It's just regular old. Nothing fancy. a little bit. I'm into this little stapler here today. This works great for stuff like that. And then maybe Thank you. 
Nope. See, this is what happens. You just get in a stuck spot, and I'm having a lot of them today. I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. I guess I'm going to stop there because I just can't seem to figure out what I want on there. Isn't that funny how you just get totally... I wonder if I could put... Just looking at your charms. Those are all the bees. All my little bumblebee charms. I guess I don't have any more leaves. This is an old bracelet of my daughter's. It just had these cute little um, beads and charms and things on them, so I thought they were worth saving because she was getting rid of stuff, as you do when you, you know, get older and don't want certain things. Okay, so I took the little bead thing here off and then we're going to put it right back on to this. Oh, actually, you know, I can close it since I can just string it on there. And that's off of a bracelet that was my daughter's. So I don't know where, where it came from, but it's just a little bead like that. And I'm going to put a green one here. This, we're going to have to put a little bit of glue underneath this burlap because as we all know and it's happening the burlap will start to undo itself. So I'm going to just put glue right under where the burlap is. Alrighty, so that's that one. Sorry for all the indecision today. I'm having an indecision day. I think we all get there at times, but geez. I'll see if this stays. If it doesn't, then we just won't put this one in. But we got, you know, a few things done, so that's good. I think I'm going to go ahead and sew the signature in after I attach um, this pocket. And... I may end up going ahead and putting that there. I don't know. I'm not going to put it on that page because I want that writing spot. But um, we'll find a spot. I oh, like this page. would probably be good. I want that over there then. 
What's on the front of this one? Oh, the corn. I don't want to cover up the corn. Pumpkins. Could go right here. I guess I can still put it down on that corner. It'll be fine. Yeah, I think it just needs to be on that side for some unknown reason in my brain. So I think I'll put it right there. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and we will chat again soon. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye now.